Have you ever wondered what was the purpose of the calibrations required for the Hologic Mammography System? Or how to complete them to ensure the best image quality for your patients? Or maybe you just need a quick refresher on the proper procedure for the gain calibration and geometry calibrations. Hi, I'm Adam with Olympic Health Physics, and today we're going to be talking about calibrations for the Hologic Mammography System. Welcome to our first video in the Mammography Quality Control Series. We're going to be talking about the gain and geometry calibration, exactly why we complete those tests, and how to complete them. Let's start with the gain calibration. This is done to ensure a uniform response of our digital detector so that subtle, suspicious anatomy can be realized in the mammogram. Next is our geometry calibration. This is done to ensure that the tomosynthesis acquisition performs and runs properly. Now the gain calibration, this is done every week to ensure proper uniform response of the digital detector. And the geometry calibration is done every six months to ensure proper alignment for tomosynthesis acquisitions. And if either of these should fail, corrective action must be taken before any clinical use. Now, for the gain calibration, we need our four centimeter thick acrylic block provided by the manufacturer. We'll want to make sure for both of these calibrations that the system is powered up and is able to be warmed up properly. You'll see a green check mark in the bottom right hand corner on the acquisition workstation. Next, you'll want to remove any compression paddles and set the compression arm to between five and seven centimeters. It'll look something like this. Next, you'll want to place the flat field phantom on the digital detector. That will then look something like this. You'll then go back over to the acquisition workstation and click on admin, quality control, and then the technologists tab. Select the gain calibration and then start. Follow the prompts and the default parameters for each acquisition. After each exposure, review the image for any foreign objects, collimator interference, or any gross artifacts other than subtle non-uniformities. Continue to follow the on-screen prompts and default techniques until you get to the 1.8 magnification settings. Then remove the flat field phantom, <laughs> install the 1.8 times magnification stand, and place the flat field phantom on top of the stand. The compression arm can be set to any height. It doesn't matter for the magnification acquisitions. Again, review these images for any foreign objects, collimator interference, or any gross artifacts other than non-uniformities. Once you're finished with acquisition, select End Calibration. If the gain calibration fails for any reason, ensure that the flat field phantom covers the entire field of view and also that the techniques were not changed during the acquisition. Then rerun the gain calibration. If the gain calibration repeatedly fails, contact your field service engineer as the source of the issue must be identified and corrective action taken before continuing with any clinical imaging. Next we have the geometry calibration. For this you'll need the geometry paddle or phantom. Remove any compression paddle and install the geometry calibration paddle. Follow the on-screen prompts to lower this so that you achieve good contact between the paddle and the detector face and get, achieve roughly 20 pounds of pressure. Then follow the on-screen prompts and the default techniques to acquire your image. Once finished, scroll through the image and make sure that you have 15 projections. Select End Calibration. Now hopefully this would have completed successfully. If not, ensure good contact between the paddle and the detector and rerun the geometry calibration. If this calibration repeatedly fails, contact your field service engineer as the source of the issue must be identified and corrective action taken before continuing with any tomosynthesis acquisitions. In conclusion, the major takeaways are that your geometry calibration is performed to ensure the uniform response of the digital detector so that subtle abnormalities are realized on mammograms. Two, that the geometry calibration is done to ensure proper tomosynthesis acquisition. 
and that if either of these should fail, corrective action must be taken before continuing with any clinical imaging. Thank you for tuning in. To learn about or get a refresher on Hologic Mammography calibrations, remember to smash the like button, and as they say, tune in to subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.